Hey, this is Ray with the uh, Ray's Engines. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're back here at the 4.8 turbo built LS engine. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, share this video so others can see what I'm doing here and they can learn from it as well. And it'll help them on their projects, on their muscle cars, and uh, daily drivers, whatever it is. Because I do a ton of different types of videos uh, from building an engine from the bottom on all the way up just to tuning something to diagnosing something um there's all kinds of things that i do on here on, on youtube um, so this is a 4.8 ls i got an ls1 intake i mean it's already finished all i have to do is put my balancer which is down here on the ground in the flywheel uh put that balancer on here which is a truck balancer uh it's got truck coils um and i'm gonna put it on that test stand there that test stand is one that we're gonna run it on and you're gonna get to see it run. You're gonna get to see it tuned. Um, I'm gonna use the Holly one. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up, you can go back to my videos and start from the very beginning when I assembled it all together. Uh, gap the piston rings, cause that's your weak link. Uh, if you don't gap piston rings, the more boost you do it, it's gonna butt the rings and they're gonna hit together and it's gonna break your piston. So that's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna, I see some guys take these straight out of a junkyard, run them, that's fine, no run maybe 10 pounds of boost at most. After that, it's gonna completely tear apart because the ring's going to hit. Other than that, the stock parts, oh, they'll handle a lot of boost. So this one's gonna handle easy 20 pounds just because I gapped the ring, the piston rings a lot larger, so they're not gonna ever hit. Uh, so as you can see, if you wanna come up here, I'm gonna show you something that I do. I didn't show you how to, how to put heads on here, but what I do is I use a Sharpie and I mark the boat the head of the boat, I mark it. Reason why, because it takes a, a degree to tighten these boats. So the degrees on here, so if, say for instance, I mark it down, straight down across, I torque it and now it's gonna be facing uh, vertical. And then you torque it again, it's gonna be horizontal. So that's just, so you can remember that you did do that boat as you're torquing each one, or the angle, I mean. Uh, so I'll show you the turbo right here. Here's a turbo I'm gonna be using. This is a turbonetic turbo. And the way I'm gonna mount this one, I'll just show you up here. I'm gonna mount this one right up front, just about there. Maybe further this way, but that's where I'm gonna mount it. So I'm gonna get stock exhaust manifolds, and I'll show you that later. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that, and something to save you money, as well as using stock manifolds and just facing the opposite direction. As soon as I get it on that test stand, um, I'll keep you updated. I'll make another video of making the tubing and everything else that you can do at home yourself. Again, this is a budget bill engine, 4.8. You can do a 5.3, a 6.0. Uh, all of them, you can do them a budget bill. And I, as if you can go back and you'll see all my videos, you'll see what a budget bill this one is. I know this one costs a little bit more. This is $1,000 just for this type of turbo. You can go with the eBay turbo, but I've never used those, so I can't tell you if they work great or not. If somebody else has, by all means, you can comment on my video and let me know that you have used it and they're successful, they're good. Um, let me know. Uh, I may even do a e eBay turbos on here just to see how they work. Uh, but this one's a turbo. I mean, it's going to run great. You'll get to hear it run, and I'll just keep you updated on it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, again, subscribe to this channel, and I'll keep you updated on the next one. Share this video. Uh, and give me a thumbs up. It does help when you give a thumbs up. It shares it with others. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.